Welcome back, folks. A lot of sunshine today. Record highs, 84 degrees. Skywatch Doppler radar. It's quiet right now, but a different story in uh, really less than 12 hours. Let's take a look at conditions across the Midlands. We'll start with our weather bug camera at Ferry Chevrolet. Take you through a time lapse over uh, about the last stow. Oh, seven hours or so and a very pleasant night out there. Real time conditions 65 after a high of 80 degrees out there today. More locations on the Weatherbug Network. We've got 65 in Ridgeway up in Fairfield County. It's 66 in uh, Fairfield uh, Airport in Winsboro and uh, taking a look at uh, Manning Regional at 66. 67 in Irmo with winds for the most part having a southerly component that is relevant to the forecast as we roll through the next couple of days. Look at the bigger picture here and a clear divide of colder air and the mild air mass that we've enjoyed the last two days. While we'll still see mild temperatures tomorrow, we're not looking for record highs because a cold front is approaching the region and will bring rain and thunderstorm potential during the morning hours. So that's going to keep these numbers from really jumping like we saw today. Here's the shower activity, the spin up here, this area of low pressure associated with it. It's going to be windy, folks. Snow throughout the Great Lakes region. And for us, we're looking at the chance for some spring like thunderstorms to start your Friday morning and really take you through about lunchtime. Now, there is a lot happening on this map as far as thunderstorm watches and tornado watches, but as far as our threat goes, while we are under a slight risk for severe weather, it's kind of looking iffy if this holds together and, and really brings what they've been dealing with to the west. Let's take a look at this on Future Watch, and this is what I'm tracking. By the time 5 o'clock rolls around, when you join meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaugh Good Day Columbia, he'll likely have some thunderstorm activity in the upstate, as you can see indicated on Future Watch. But throughout the progression of Good Day Columbia, as it's from 5 to 9, notice by about uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock and up to 11, we start to see the thunderstorms pushing overhead. But that line is not as intense. I think that while we will get some thunderstorm warnings, while a severe thunderstorm watch would not surprise me, we're not going to be dealing with the significant threat they saw to our west today but certainly some windy conditions and some heavy downpours and some loud claps of thunder as well. This sweeps through by the afternoon hours and we're going to see some sunshine later on in the afternoon and look for pleasant conditions taking you into this time tomorrow night. Still fairly breezy, but also cooler. So temperatures tonight in the 60s. In fact, we'll kind of drop a little bit, climb back up. Thunderstorms by 6 a.m. Notice through the day tomorrow from the 60s dropping off in the afternoon, upper 50s as that front pushes through. And then your seven day forecast will stay in the 60s this weekend, but then we're looking for 50s as we head into next week as temperatures drop below average. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more ahead for you here on Watch Fox News at 10.